Google just dropped something that can pull real-time data from search, recreate celebrities in massive group photos without a single reference image, rebuild a centuries-old painting in a modern setting with perfect storyline consistency, generate a comic strip with stable characters and coherent dialogue, and even turn GPS coordinates into an actual photo of the correct building. And the wild part is that this was not some massive launch event. It landed out of nowhere, and the first reactions were basically, hold on, this looks like AGI level reasoning inside an image model. They call it Nano Banana Pro, or officially Gemini 3 Pro Image, and it is the biggest jump in image generation we have seen since the entire field started. So let's talk about it. All right, so the first moment that made people stop was that wild remake of William Hogarth's A Rake's Progress, but set in 2025. The original paintings from the 18th century chart a young man's rise and fall, and Nano Banana Pro managed to recreate that same storytelling energy with a ridiculous amount of modern detail. You see the guy getting rich through Dogecoin, monster energy cans everywhere, an old Deliveroo job, therapeutic ketamine ads, NFT phases, life extension experiments, a gig economy, prison, OnlyFans burnout, a megacorp eviction notice, and finally a dopamine ward as the modern version of the madhouse. Every panel looks like something an illustrator would spend days refining, and Nano Banana Pro just drops it in seconds with the same consistency across the entire sequence. When you compare it to the original Nano Banana, or even Gemini 2.5 flash image, the difference is basically night and day. Even SeaDream 4.0, which used to dominate many benchmarks, looks like it was working with outdated ideas. One of the reasons for that jump is the fact that Nano Banana Pro pulls real-time data from Google search. In the shard example, the stock score projected onto the building was not hallucinated, it was the actual result from that moment. That is something other models simply cannot match right now. When you ask it for a topographic map of London, made out of embroidered felt, it gives you something you would actually see hanging in a restaurant with recognizable structure instead of random shapes pretending to be geography. And yet, it is not flawless. Some distant skyline structures do not line up perfectly, but considering the entire thing is grounded in live search, this is a new level of realism for generative tools. Where things get even more interesting is how it handles composition. You can drop in Goku, SpongeBob, and Squirtle, ask for a professional IMAX double exposure action poster, and it not only blends the styles correctly, it has them interact in ways that make sense. Goku firing an attack, SpongeBob countering, Squirtle spinning water off to the side, all tucked into layered exposure effects that actually look like real poster art. Using the same prompt on Sea Dream 4.0 or on the original Nano Banana, looks like something from early 2023. Just completely disconnected ideas thrown together? Of course, these upgrades come with some scaling differences. The official Gemini 3 Pro image tier that powers Nano Banana Pro is more expensive to run. At high resolution, it is around seven or eight times the cost of the original Nano Banana, and about three or four times the price at medium resolutions. It is not the fastest model either. But then you compare it with OpenAI's high resolution image model, and Nano Banana Pro still ends up cheaper. And even if OpenAI eventually drops GPT Image 2, at this moment, Google owns this specific category. Google also introduced Synth ID into the mix, embedding an invisible watermark into every image. You can upload any picture into the Gemini app and ask it whether Nano Banana Pro created it. This is rolling out to text, audio, and video soon. Free tier outputs have a visible watermark too, unless you use higher tier tools or developer modes like AI Studio. Now, the fun part is how deep Nano Banana Pro goes with intelligence. The infographic examples alone show that the model is not just drawing, it is reasoning. It creates black death maps with correct dates, historical spreads, and clever visual effects. But this is also where you see the danger. A single wrong word like spared under Paris can slip in, even though that region definitely suffered during the plague. And since the other 99% of the image is so good, people might not double check the final details. The closer these models get to perfection, the easier it is for users to be misled by tiny inaccuracies. Another point that really shows the leap is spatial awareness. If you drop a hedgehog photo and ask Nano Banana Pro to place it into a picture of a cottage doorway with matching lighting and a man looking down at it, it positions the animal almost exactly how you would mentally place it. The original Nano Banana from just a few months ago did something that barely resembled the scene. Even Seam Ream lands somewhere in between, decent but not quite right. Nano Banana Pro feels like it understands physical space instead of just pattern matching shapes. 
The comic strip example takes it even further. Give it a mouse character you created years ago in Midjourney and tell it to generate a four panel comic with a turtle, consistent personalities, speech bubbles, and a punchline, and it just does it. The mouse keeps the satchel, the vibe stays the same, the turtle stays grumpy, the slang stays consistent across panels. Then you continue with a new prompt asking for a second story, but on a medieval galleon, and the personalities stay intact. Sure, a hat might disappear in one panel or a few arrows shift around, but it is functioning as if it understands continuity on a higher level. Google also showed that yes, cloning multiple characters in one frame works extremely well. Up to 14 reference photos can be merged into one complex scene while preserving each person's identity from different angles. This is something only professional studios could do before. What really separates Nano Banana Pro though is the amount of control it gives you. You can adjust camera angles, depth of field, lighting conditions, and color grading in ways that used to require full photography workflows. You can swap outfits across scenes, redesign layouts, change day to night, manipulate bokeh, brighten shadows, and keep the entire scene consistent. It even supports 2K and 4K resolutions, with proper aspect ratios ranging from ultra-wide cinematic to square. And for editing, the new localized refinement tools mean you can draw over a photo and force the model to add specific details exactly where you marked them. You can change a girl's photo by adding a cowboy hat, a guitar, a cat on the table, and it will even adjust the reflection of the new guitar on the table surface, even if you did not circle the reflection zone itself. One of the wildest demos is how well it handles real world data. You can upload a Google Analytics screenshot and tell it to inflate your clicks to 90,000 and impressions to 1.2 million, and also update the graph to match the new numbers. The model changes the axis, updates the curve, and keeps the layout perfectly aligned. None of the older models could touch that. It even turns tables of benchmark numbers into graphs, perfectly matching categories like MMLU Pro, GPQA Diamond, Reasoning Scores, Agentic Tool Use Scores, and Keeping Colors and Labels Accurate. This is not pattern guessing, this is understanding the underlying numerical structure. Then you get into the medical scan example. Four different lesion markers and Nano Banana Pro detected almost all of them correctly, even though the previous models completely missed the locations or hallucinated patterns. It still makes occasional mistakes, like marking an extra spot, but the accuracy jump is real. For fictional characters, it identifies outfits from ReZero or Demon Slayer or South Park or Snow White with a level of precision that previous models simply could not achieve. And when you mix extremely rare species like the Sri Lanka Slender Loris, it knows the general family but still misses details. That part is not solved yet, but every other model fails harder. And it still cannot get clock times right. You can ask for 11, 15, and a wine glass filled to the top. It fills the wine glass, but the clock lands on some random time again. This weakness shows up in every model, so it is probably a deeper limitation of how transformers treat numbers and rotation. Where Nano Banana Pro really flexes is world grounding. You can paste coordinates from Hong Kong, and it generates the correct building, the skyline behind it, the specific street layout, and even the atmosphere of the district you pointed at. Other models only produce generic Hong Kong streets with random skyscrapers. And when you upload a floor plan, it produces interior designs with correct placement of every wall, door, piano, angle, and lighting. When you upload a photo of an apartment, it produces a 2D floor plan that matches the layout almost exactly. Again, older models cannot even start correctly. Then you drop in a Gundam and ask it to disassemble it into parts. Nano Banana Pro lays out wings, armor, stickers, joints, and it is recognizable. Same Gundam, same components. And when you ask for a model sheet with front, back, and side views, it gets the two swords on the back correct, something earlier models missed almost every time. All right, that is where we will wrap it. Tell me in the comments what you think Google is really aiming for with this jump. Make sure you are subscribed and hit like if this helped. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.